chances are you own a speaker. Chances are you probably even know how a speaker works. Maybe if you're a maker, you've even built a speaker. But do you have the ability to explain to a young child how a speaker works? Do you have the ability to explain to a fellow maker the principles behind its usage? Well, here at Bose, they know speakers. That's why I'm speaking with Lee, who's going to explain what they've done to bring Bose to the young maker. Lee, what is the Bose Build? Uh, Bose Build is a new product line from Bose. We launched it about two months ago, maybe three months ago, at Maker Faire in DC, because we thought that was a perfect place to talk about what we're trying to do here which is not just make a product that comes in different colors uh, that kids might like, but give them a place to explore how things work starting from the first principles. We start with a magnet, get them to explore what magnets are, a coil of wire, and we build up conceptually until they have a great sounding Bluetooth speaker that they build. That's what I love about this product is that you're building upon layers of layers of knowledge. Because even though we all have speakers, in fact, most of us have probably thrown out speakers at some point. We just take it for granted. The technology behind them is actually very foundational to the world that we live. You're dealing with magnets, with electromagnets, with ferrous and non-ferrous materials. And of course, what do different frequencies look like? What do they sound like? And what type of materials and enclosures enhance particular sounds? Now, if, if I were to teach a young child with this, what kind of lessons could I give him or her? Sure, I mean, we, we start and we have an interactive app, I'll just kind of bring this up, that starts with a whole journey of discovery. This one's been unlocked, but if you were a child, you would start here and go through this whole journey of discovery that builds layer upon layer, as you were saying. And it starts by introducing them to what a magnet and a coil can do. And it's a simple matter of, um, I can show you here, um, launching a coil. So we have a coil, it's made out of copper, we describe that and explain that to them. It doesn't do anything when it's near a magnet on its own, but when we put electricity through it, we can get it to jump, and at different levels of power, I can get it to jump off the coil. And we usually get a wow moment right there, and that's where in the context of our app, there's these videos that pop up and say, now you just said wow, I can teach you something without calling it teaching, and then bring to life the concept that made that coil jump off the magnet. And then we just build, I'll give you one more, conceptually, this thing can not only repel a magnet, it can attract a magnet. And you can see here, you know, a couple times a second, we're making that thing jump up and down. Now we're starting to make vibrations, and now we can start hearing sounds and music come out of that coil and magnet. This has always been my favorite part of any Maker fair. That is when you can take something that is an abstract. They might learn in a classroom, yeah, okay, I've heard about electromagnets. Yeah, I've, I've heard about what frequency curves look like. But then you show it in the real world, and you're right. You, you get that little bit of, oh, it's an aha moment. Uh, it, it, eventually, they're going to take all of this and build it into something that actually creates sound, right? Correct. We want to give them the time to explore. So the more time they take feeling those forces and with using all their different senses, listening, visual, um, touch, but then we don't want them to just say, well, I learned something, but what do I have in the end? We want to apply that so that they get real excited about learning. And so we give them all the parts they need, starting with the speaker cone. Um, but the speaker looks a lot like one of the earlier activities. This is a paper speaker template, a single sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper with scissors and tape. You tape the magnet and coil, and you build up a working speaker. And now you really know how this works. So this is no longer a black box. And then you build this into a finished speaker cube that lights up in different colors. And you can uh, customize it with different silhouette covers. And you're really proud of this now because you built it. And that, that can't be overstated. That's an important part of the maker experience, especially for a young child, which is it's great to learn the science. It's great to see examples. But if you could take all of that and create something that they want to hold on to, that they will continue to use, then the lessons stick. Yeah, and we didn't want to skimp on the finished speaker. Like, this is something that is going to be in a child's room for hopefully months, if not years. And they're going to listen to all the music just when they're getting into music, which is like a perfect time to kind of connect those dots. So you're not saying necessarily who likes science and engineering. You're saying who likes music, and then you're using that to unravel this onion. I got to tell you, I love what you're doing here. Thank you so much for bringing this to the fair. If they wanted to find out more about the Bose build, or more about Bose in general, where would be the best place for them to go? Best place to go is just build.bose.com. That's our dedicated website just for this product and this whole range of experiences and all the information's there. Lee, again, thank you for your time. Thank you for technology. And if you've got a youngin who needs to learn about sound and technology, Bose wants you to build it.